the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. Eric, congrats, a spectacular performance, first round knockout. It doesn't get any better than that, right? It does not get any better than this. Uh, I've been searching for this now, like I they said, five bare knuckle fights, I got my win in BKFC. Man, I'm excited, ecstatic, heads in the clouds right now. Amazing. Walk us through the two knockdowns. Actually, you caught him with an uppercut. Did you see the opening? Uh, when I hit him, the very first shot with that jab, I split him open. He was leaking blood over his eye. So I was like, I gotta attack that. And then he tried to uh, put me up on the rope. So I hit him in the body a few times and hit him with an uppercut. And when he come back up, his nose was an S. Like, I, I heard him there. And then that's when he took that first knockdown. And then they got the 10 count, come right back into it. Little Fury. Got him up against the ropes again, did the same thing. Uppercut, I heard him say, ow, hard hook, and he was down again. Yeah. Did you work on those combinations specifically in training camp? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I did it a little backwards. Uh, I tried to go for a body, uppercut, and then hook, but I just ended up doing the uppercut, hook. But yeah, I definitely planned on the uppercut. I knew he was going to hit him with the uppercut. And jabs, that was my real plan coming into this was jabs through the whole fight. I mean, whether I was walking backwards or I was coming forwards, my jab was gonna be in his face. What did it feel like walking out here in front of this huge crowd in Montana? Was that something special? Yeah, no, it's like I said before, just, just getting a win for BKFC for me is a huge victory. Fighting somewhere where I've actually got fans myself from fighting here at MMA for so long, it's a great feeling. I mean, great, great feeling. Now you're already an experienced campaigner in bare knuckle, right? It's your fourth fight. What does it take to be a great bare knuckle fighter? Um, the ability, the ability to adapt and change to the environment that's coming on. Uh, training, definitely train. Jab. If you want to win, you got to jab. If not, they're just gonna come in, get close to you, and beat you up. I, I let them come in close one time, and I got a cut. That won't happen again from here on out. And I won't lose again from here on out. What do you love most about the sport, about bare knuckle? Uh, the fans, honestly. Uh, everybody with online that's here in the crowds, man, everybody's just phenomenal. And then the rounds are shorter. I mean, I train three minute rounds at home, but uh, rounds are shorter, fights are only 10 minutes. If you can't fight 10 minutes long, you probably shouldn't be in any sport, but. What's your biggest strength in there? Uh, my confidence. Um, at the moment, it's definitely my confidence. I come into this fight very confident, headstrong, and uh, that's because I got the training in that with me now. So it's only going to be better from here with the confidence only boosting even more now. Um, yeah, I just look forward to coming back as soon as possible. I was told maybe like three weeks for this. Uh, so maybe four to six weeks I get another fight, maybe. What's so special about Montana fans and Montana fighters? There's something spe special in the blood, right, I guess? Well, there's not a lot of do for here for these guys. So all they got to do is train. Um, and I've been fighting here since 2008, doing MMA and stuff. And Montana is just a big family. I mean, they're all nice. Really, no fights don't break out in the crowds too much. Um, and once you got their support, they're going to support you forever. Talk to us about your nickname, The Buck. Uh, the Buck is a name I've had since I was like six months old, uh, being adopted by my stepdad. Uh, and when I first started fighting in MMA, I was stuck on where to go for a nickname. And uh, I just chose a name I've been called my whole life. Why change it? What's next for you? Is there anyone you want to call out? Uh, specifically, no, but anybody in the 145 division better w watch out. I might make a drop down to 135, uh, go down in there a little bit, but I'm not really going to specifically call anybody out. Just anybody wants to get it, let's get it, Chevy. Is there any family sponsors you want to thank? Uh, yeah, I got uh, Post Up Fencing in uh, 
Idaho Fall or in Idaho, and then uh, Planet Hank, Just Blaze Clothing, those guys. Uh, Turp House Farm is the manager. Uh, I'm looking at a couple other sponsors at the moment. Haven't secured them yet, so I'm not going to shout them out yet. My name is Derek Gates. I'm with Bare Knuckle News, and nobody beats us to the punch. <laughs>